Hello everyone, this is Daniel Glenn, and I wanted to shoot a quick video showing you a wonderful functionality in Office, the dictation functionality. Now, dictation is an amazing functionality in Office, and I'll, I'll go ahead and bring up Word here to show you what I'm talking about. I'm able to uh, select this dictation button here, and Office will immediately start typing what I'm saying. Now, of course, this is powered through um, the web, so I need to be connected to the internet for this to work, but this will give me uh, a pretty good, I've, I've been using it for a little while, it gives you a really uh, good representation of what you're saying. Now, I can change settings, um, telling it which language I am using, and then there's uh, some uh, fully supported languages, Chinese, English from Canada, uh, United States, English, Mexico, Spanish, and Spain, Spanish. And then there's some preview languages. Um, I can, I've been using this for a little while and it is fantastic. Now, one problem I have with the, this functionality is you have to keep going and clicking the button. You click, they've done a better job before if you click the button and you, um, you were speaking, it would do dictation, and then if you click somewhere else, it would quit doing dictation. Or if you typed, um, it would stop. But now, when you're using dictation, and for instance, you see something you want to fix that maybe it didn't quite get right, you can go in and make that modification right away. Well, uh, that's great, but with my workflow, the way the way I'm trying to create content is I want to... Um, turn on dictation and start speaking immediately and get going with it. I don't want to have to go and click on it and then come back and move my hands around. I, I just thought it would be quicker if there was a shortcut key. So I, of course, went to the platform that everyone goes to when they want to complain. I went to Twitter. So I posted a message saying, hey, can we please get a keyboard shortcut for office dictation? And I thought this was a valid request. Uh, it's got quite a few likes, great, you know, uh, others saw the value in this. But then I got a response from Mike VZ on Twitter uh, saying that you could act, add the icon to the quick access toolbar and then you will get a shortcut. So I said, whoa, this is amazing. I want to give this a try. So uh, let's bring up Word and I'll show you how to do this. This works in all the Office applications, by the way. So I will, I've got my nice dictation button here. I'm, the quick access toolbar is up here on the top left. And when I press Alt, you'll see that I do get um, shortcut n uh, numbers for quick access toolbar items. So if I wanted to undo something, I would press Alt 4 at the same time and it would do uh, that action. So I right click on there and this top, you'll see the top one is Add to Quick Access Toolbar. So I'm going to right click, Add Quick Access Toolbar, and now it is up here on the top. So when I click Alt, or when I type Alt, the, um, it is showing me that 5 is the number that has been um, set as the number. So when I type, when I hit the Alt and the number 5 key at the same time, dictation starts. It is, uh, that's the way the uh, icon looks when, when it's working. And you can see already that it was doing it. Now it's having some issues because I'm using the microphone uh, to do this video, but uh, this is just a, a quick and easy way to add dictation to your shortcut key, to have a shortcut key for it. So play around with using dictation. I love the feature and let me know what you think. Bye for now.